Today, we're visiting modern homes located in New Zealand, Finland, and the U.S. Hi, and welcome to a new episode of Unique Houses. Please subscribe and turn on the bell to be part of the community and get the updates about new videos. Glad to have supporters. Meet Lightmind designed by Crossan Architect. On the coast of New Zealand's North Island, an award-winning holiday home puts a sculptural twist on the local Bach typology. It's the pyramid-like towers that rise out of the roof that turn the heads of passers-by. Named Lightmine, this house is an exploration of strong sculptural forms referencing the mine shafts of the long-abandoned gold mines within the surrounds of the once wealthy historical gold mining town. Here the shafts are inverted, mining the sunshine and starlight extending into the sky as opposed to the earth. Within the strategically placed off-grid shafts, drama is created and time is registered as the sun moves around the house. The social organization of the plan is relaxed and loose, appropriate for retreat, and laid out as a series of parts able to either be lived in privately and independently, or opened up to connect the buildings and enliven the outdoor space in between. Varying heights and positions of the shafts break up the form on the ridge line, establishing an identity and interest. The house steps forward and back, the plan mapping the movement of the sun. Deep overhangs provide protection from the summer sun and the entry of the winter sun. The decks fore and aft allow spatial extension into the landscape. The cladding is reclaimed totara from a swamp reused as a rain screen. This timber, imbued with the colors of the coast, is a contrast to the rich and highly crafted light timber interior. In contrast to the silvery facade, the light-filled interiors are wrapped in whitewashed band-sawn cedar that lend a sense of warmth throughout. Let's visit Three Square House designed by Studio Puisto. It sits between a lake and a dense spruce forest and is clad in black oiled wood and topped by sloping zinc roofs. Called Three Square House, the house in Finland is made up of three interlocking volumes with a central building flanked by two smaller spaces. These volumes interconnect a garage, storage and a sauna. Between the garage and the main house, a corner of raised wooden decking with a sunken tub connects to a walkway down to a jetty out into the lake. Facing the line of spruce trees, smaller openings create darker spaces that are intended to evoke the atmosphere of the forest. Facades facing the lake are more open with large areas of glazing that wrap around living spaces. Following a gentle slope on the site, Three Square House sits dug in towards the forest and slightly raised where it overlooks the water. Rooms follow these gradients with private and darker bedrooms at the back and lighter communal spaces at the front. Instead of doors, sliding glass doors can separate or open up the rooms. The main building is split diagonally by a central core, maximizing the available space in the triangular areas either side. Enclosed by dark wood-lined walls, this core contains a bathroom, walk-in wardrobe and storage. The core's perimeter houses a wall of kitchen appliances and cabinets. A triangular living space defined by this kitchen wall and a corner section of glazing has a wood-burning stove suspended just above the floor. Dark wood floors and black ceilings also contribute to the feeling of intimate, shadow-filled spaces. In the sauna, paler wood's been used along with high-level windows that allow light in while maintaining privacy. The building warms up with geothermal heat. It features underfloor heating and electrically heated windows.
Meet Hood River Residence Designed by Edwards Architecture. Located on the northern slope of an extinct volcano, the Hood River Residence rests at the transition between the agricultural valley and the forested hillside of Hood River Valley. The site was the main driver for design decisions from the concrete wall that tucks the home into the hillside, protecting it from the harsh wind, rain, and winter snow coming from the south, to the transparent northern facade facing Mount Adams and the valley below. This home is designed to shelter from the extremes of the local climate while taking full advantage of the site's most attractive feature, mountain and orchard views. The form of the home is a long, simple bar split into two volumes under one rectilinear roof form. The concrete wall anchors the interior and exterior of the home to the landscape and filters the dramatic views to the north. The roof sheds to the south, protecting the home and outdoor spaces from the elements while opening up to the views and north light. The largest volume of the house contains the main living area with bedrooms, kitchen, and gathering spaces. The second, smaller volume contains a guest suite and both spaces open onto a generous outdoor deck, inviting the entertaining spaces of the home out into the landscape. Circulation is organized along the concrete wall to the south, giving every public and private area a view to the valley below and mountains beyond. Transferring to Whidbey Island Farm Retreat designed by M.W. Work. Located on a rural site on Whidbey Island in the United States, a local family sought a new home and retreat on the site of their family farm. Out of respect for turn-of-the-century agricultural buildings located on the site, the home ticks into the edge of a densely forested hillside overlooking chicken sheds, a weathered red barn, cattle fields, and a fishing pond. The house appears intentionally modest and humble from the valley, deferential to the pastoral farmlands below. The house was designed as both retreat and part-time residence for a growing family with strong local roots going back several generations on the island. While designed to be comfortable for two, the house accommodates up to 20 people with a four-bedroom main house and a complete bunkhouse for the many grandchildren and guests. The program of the home is broken down into discrete, modestly sized volumes. A low wall of stacked local basalt stone organizes the volumes and subtly defines the perimeter of the courtyard. The courtyard becomes the visual and physical link between the different volumes, providing access and connection, but offering separation and retreat when desired. The rustic gravel approach to the house meanders through the dense and dark evergreens, opening to the house and layered views of the courtyard and trees. At the owner's request, intense care and effort during design and construction place the protection of the trees over construction expediency. With a pallet of naturally weathered woods, concrete, locally quarried stone walls, deep oak window jams, solo plaster walls, and black steel accents, the house strives to be warm and rustic, yet simple, clear, and open a house that honors both the timelessness of the forest and agricultural heritage of the site. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and turn on the bell to hear about our latest video. Stay tuned.